bullet here in the top of the third. Fastball chopped down the line. Mathis dives and knocks it down. Prevents it from getting out into the outfield, but he can't get up and make the play that's going to be a well-placed infield single yeah and the game's first run will indeed score i tell you you get the ground ball there it's a game of inches mathis did a great job to get over right on the line and knock it down so it couldn't get down to the bullpen because of course that would have been extra runs well certainly certain henry fires the 1-0 it's hit to the right side of the field it gets through the infield The runner's going to come around second base, and he's going to score easily. The throw off the mark from Cabrera. And Michael Brewer, who led off the inning with a single to left, comes around and scores to make it 2 to nothing. Big curveball and a big swing and a miss from Doty. And that will do it for this one. Tigers drop it 2 to nothing. No runs on three hits, one errors for LSU. 0-2 pitch. pitch, a high fastball driven out to deep right center field. That ball is going to be out of here. Just cleared the wall right next to the Dow Diamond Dow. And below the brand new Planet Fitness data scoreboard out in right center field. The Tigers jump on top with a two-run bolt from Daniel Cabrera. His first of the year. Yeah, first home run of the year for Cabrera. And we talked about how it was a, a better hitter's day today than it was last night. The ball just was spanked into the right center gap and not enough to clear the fence. And that's what you need after a tough offensive night last night. You need to get runs early and often, and they started it off early here today. Good signs here for the Tigers offensively. Now Alex... And ball four. It was very close, but home plate umpire Christopher Simmons awards Palazzo with the walk and an RBI. For the Colonels. Here's the pitch. Lays down the right field line, and that's going to be extra bases. One run is in. Two runs are in. Here comes the third run. It's going to score, and Kane Beloso with a bases loaded clearing double down the right field line to bust this game wide open and give the Tigers a six-run lead. Yeah, we looking, needed the big hit. Guys in scoring position the last couple days, they hadn't quite got it. And right there, Beloso 3-1, hunting one pitch and was able to drive a ball down into the right field corner and clear the bases for a three-RBI double. That's what we've been looking for here the last 18 innings or so and now they're going to make another pitching change they're going to go to the right hand to face Saul Garza take out nope he left it up and that's going to be a base hit to left field the runner will score from second base throw comes in and that's by the way Drew Bianco out in left field now Bianco came in as a defensive replacement. There is a hit right up the middle. It's going to get down. And another run will score. DiGiacomo comes up throwing, but the ball just sails out of his hand. He nearly throws a fly ball in all the way to Malaza. Not a heads-up play there because, of course, now the double play is not in order. Yes. As Thomason easily made his way to second base, I guess the ball just popped out of Giacomo's hand. Yeah, I'm going to just I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and say that it just it, that he wasn't trying to do that because certainly the Giacomo after one year in the program knows that that's the, that's not the play there, especially up by five runs. Just get it in and keep the. This one's hit right at the shortstop. Cranford feels it, fires across the diamond. A run will come in. The Tigers will gladly trade a run for an out, and that's one down. From Botno. Fastball, swing and a miss, and that's going to do it. Devin Botno comes in and strikes out the final two hitters of the game. The Tigers are victorious 6-3. to three. They tie up this series one apiece, and tomorrow 
We will have a rubber match. It's the first. Now the 1-0. Smacked into the air, into center field. Brewer coming in on the run. He'll make the grab. Coming in from third, Malazzo tags up and touches home plate. Without a throw, it was cut off by Jake Lewis. So a sack fly RBI for Sal Garza. Puts the Tigers up early. one nothing here in the bottom of the first inning. That's what you're looking for. That's what you're looking for. That's what happened yesterday for, for Marceau. And that two runs... Probably would have been all he needed. Peloso at the plate. The pitch takes a ground ball, base hit right of second base. Cabrera around third. He's going to score an RBI single for Cade Beloso. It's now 2 0 LSU. I love when he beats the shift because if they weren't playing the shift there, that ball probably is right at the second baseman, maybe a step or two to his right. But I think it's really just a routine ground ball in the third out of the inning. Instead, Beloso gets a single and an RBI. So Beloso stands safely down at first base. Now, the 3-1 delivery on its way in the dirt. Bounces short of the plate, and Lewis going to walk in a run. Mathis will come in and touch home plate, and it's a 3-0 LSU lead. That's probably best case. If you're straight up, they do have the shortstop, Thomason, playing closer to the second base bag to the left-handed hitter, but he still punches one through on the ground into right field. Coming in to score will be two runs for the Tigers. Malazzo and Cabrera got on their horses, come around to score, and Kay Beloso with his second and third RBI of the day, and that'll make it 5-0 LSU. When's the last time you've seen four base hits to right field? Almost all in the same spot, by the way. Wow. Still nobody out. Bottom of the third inning. Tigers with two in scoring position now with Garza at third. Beloso trotting down to second. Pretty remarkable. Lewis with the 0-1. Ground ball, base hit into left field. Coming in to score will be Garza. They're going to hold Beloso up at third as Botsway gets the ball in quickly to the infield. But Hampton delivers an RBI single. That'll make it 6 nothing LSU. And there you go. Hampton gets his fourth hit of the year. And that's his first RBI as a Tiger. We talked about it already. Not easy to get a ground ball by Lucio at third base, but Hampton at second, Beloso at third. The pitch to Bianco, one hopper right to Lucio at third. The throw going to go to first as he tried to look back Hampton to second. Coming in to score was Beloso. The throw gets away from Ludwig. That will allow Hampton to come on in from second and score. And the Tigers extend their lead as Lucio handled the ground ball effectively. Did not come to the plate. Beloso off and running to home plate. He looked back Hampton, but then just on that throw to first, it was down in the dirt. Not much Ludwig could do with it. Well, he picked it clean. He knew he had some time with Bianco to run down the line. And you're right. He looked him back, but he looked him back one hop too many. One hop's fine, but you got to get... Well, that was only one error, but it was a costly error. The 0-2. And on the hands and a ground ball hit to Ludwig at first. And by his lonesome, he'll step on the bag. And again, coming in to score will be Pianco. That'll make it 9 nothing. With two outs, runner on first base. First pitch offered up to Beloso. Is driven into the gap right center field. Around second into third comes Malazzo. The throw in from Howie was off the mark. Malazzo decides to go ahead and take off for home plate. The throw coming to the plate well off the mark. And Malazzo slides in safely to make it 10 nothing. And again, a Colonels team that had been pretty clean in the infield and in the field this weekend. Just some mistakes there and allows LSU to extend the lead after Beloso just drives one into right center. Beloso is feeling it. And I tell you, every team, one of the parts of their identity these days, it seems, is what they do after a double. (laughs) And the Tigers, I don't know what it's called, but we're going to learn more about it, I'm sure. It's a little shimmy out at second base. The pitch 
Down the line in right, and it will drop in fair into the corner. Cabrera going to have to chase it out. Brewer around third. They'll go ahead and wave Howie around third. The throw will not come in, and the Colonels get on the board to make it 10-2. After a double down the line for A.J. Lewis, drives in two runs. Yeah, and see, that's what I was kind of talking about. That's what kind of stinks about pitching in these games where you're up by 10 runs. It's It really sounds silly for a pitcher or a former pitcher even to complain about run support, but you know, now Labels will have these two runs given up, and, and this line. Two outs. The 2-1 pitch. Lifted in the air. Could be playable down the line in right. Cabrera comes charging in at the line. Makes the grab. Tigers win. Tigers win. They take the series with an impressive 10-2 win here in game three over the Colonels of Eastern Kentucky. Tigers move their record to 5-3 and three on the season. The Colonels head back to Richmond with a four and two overall mark. All final today at the box. Quick game. Tigers make quick work of Eastern Kentucky. 10-2 the final. Stay with us.